Hi everyone, it's Vacha here for RecordingStudio9.com. Thanks for joining me again. In today's video, I will be showing you and talking about a feature which is found in Personas Studio One, the, which is the option to be able to do pre-fader uh, insert plugin or effects before the audio is recorded onto the tracks. That way you can maybe apply, let's say, a compression or EQ to shape your incoming audio before it's recorded um, so that you don't have to do it later on. Um, and that way you might be able to save some CPU power, especially if you have an older PC that you're running uh, your, your DAW or Presonus Studio One on. So I will show you how to do, where to find it and how to do it. Uh, in our screen. Well, I have Persona Studio One open. I just created a new empty project, so there are no tracks, uh, nothing uh, in uh, in this project, um, song project. So um, let's open up the mixer, and we can find the inputs right there. As you can see, my signal is going up, and that's at the inputs right there, and the way to get the inserts available for us, there's two options. One, we can double click and it will open up right there. As you can see, we can now add inserts and um, any plugins we like. And the other option is by clicking here and enlarging it and the inserts appear right at the top. So you can see it both ways, depending which way you like. I like it next to it, so I'll double click and have it there. So now we can uh, insert a plugin and apply that to any any of the track being recorded. So uh, let's have a track added. Let's add a mono track. Let's select input 2 because that's the input we are recording and we turn it on into record mode and oh okay. okay. So this is what you're hearing. This is the latency between what I'm talking and uh, what uh, the DO is playing back. So let's get rid of that by turning um, oops, this one. Now the main on off. So now what we're hearing is what the DO is playing back. So I'm hitting a little bit of echo, but you probably won't be hearing, so, which is good. So um, what we need to do is add some, um, I guess, uh, some effects and uh, one of the best effects we can add um, to it is probably a gate especially for a microphone now as you can hear once we have a gate it actually um, cuts off any noise in the background as I am not talking this is with a gate on and now I'll just turn off the gate So as you can see, now all of your recordings will have, um, you know, clear signal when there's no audio coming through. So um, that helps quite a bit. So you can play around and adjust this, you know, uh, I don't really need to explain that. I'm sure you know what a gate is. Um, so you can, you can use this option to record. Um, the next option would be, uh, is another favorite of mine, is uh, just adding an EQ and using the... Um, a low cut or you know high pass, so that all of this rumble right at the bottom here can get be can can be getting ridden off. So I'll just turn it on. Now it's at seventy five hertz. So if I just bring it out, as you can hear, my voice is gets thinner and thinner because it's just cutting off all the lower end. So I'll bring it down, maybe down to one hundred and fifty or or maybe two hundred hertz. That's a sort of a good signal. And um, yeah, so you can use EQ uh, before you start recording it. And um, you know, you can even add compression. I normally don't add any compression um, at this stage, but if you are tight for CPU, then uh, you can certainly add uh, um, a compressor as well. This is just a stock uh, compressor. Um, you know, let's just, um, I just select the default one, male vocal one. Um, so now my voice is just gone louder. Um, yeah, so, uh, you'll be able to control it. So now yeah, I can back away a little bit. 
<laughs> and you can play around with the EQ and the compressor and whatever you like. And this is what's going to get recorded onto the track. So let's just try to record something. This is, is a recording onto the track using the uh, pre-fader inserts uh, with gate, um, equalizer with uh, low cut and a compressor. And then we can just basically remove compressor and then remove EQ and then remove the gate. And now um, this is without it. Let's put the gate back on. So nice and clear. We can put EQ back on and we get rid of all the lower rumbles and then we add compressor to make it uh, louder and um, whatever you want to play. You know, the, the effects it's all yours, whatever you want to do with them. So um, hopefully uh, this was uh, helpful enough for you and you know where to find it. It's under the inputs, double clicking or opening up. Uh, and you can add as many inserts as your CPU can handle and everything will be recorded uh, onto the tracks. So, uh, now that we've got recorded, let's have a quick listen of our recording. This is, is a recording onto the track using the uh, pre-fader inserts uh, with gate, um, equalizer with uh, low cut and a compressor and then we can just basically remove compressor and then remove EQ and then remove the gate and now um, this is without it let's put the gate back on so nice and clear we can put EQ back on and we get rid of all the lower rumbles and then we add compressor to make it uh, louder and um, whatever you want to play you know the, the effects it's all yours whatever you want to do with them well I hope that demonstration was um, useful for you now you know how to apply effects um, before audio is recorded onto the tracks it might be able to saving you uh, some time later on uh, processing it as well a couple less VST plug-in onto the tracks might help some CPU power so um, if you have any further questions in regarding to this uh, option, uh, feel free to comment below and I'm more than happy to uh, try to cover that and answer them for you. If there's anything else you'd like to experiment uh, on this topic as well. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. That way you're always kept up to date. And if you haven't visited my website, please do so. Uh, it's recordingstudio9.com. There's a whole heap of information there as well for you to look at and, and watch and read about. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Cheerio.